How about having Facebook, Instagram, mail app, YouTube and pretty much any app you want on Apple CarPlay? It's possible at the moment if your iPhone has iOS 14.3 or lower. If you qualify, then we can proceed by jailbreaking your iPhone. But before that, I want to make myself clear. If anyone tells you that you can have any app you want on CarPlay, like YouTube or Netflix or whatever, without jailbreaking your phone, just so you know, they lying to you big time. By the way, Netflix won't work no matter what. Okay, let's start by opening the browser and typing this address, altstore.io. Also, I'll have all the links in the video description. Since we are using the Mac, we can choose the Mac OS and this app will download on your computer. Now, uh, let's go ahead and uh, open it. And so once we open it, a diamond shape like icon on the status bar appears so click on it and then click install mail plugin one more time and here type the password of your computer click ok and let's open up the mail app and then once you have it open click on the mail on the top bar and then go to preferences and here go all the way to manage plugins check that plugin allow access apply and mail app will restart so we are good to go here now we once we fix this plug your device into your computer and make sure you trust this computer this is a very important step make sure you don't miss it otherwise the process will not work at all now head up to the app icon on the top bar and install Altstore and select your device from the list. Now in this window here you will have to enter your Apple ID or iTunes ID. This is a pretty secure process, everything is encrypted so don't worry about it. After you typed your ID and the password, now you should get a message that the app is gonna install to your iPhone. So go ahead and check on your iPhone and see if you have this Alt Store app. If you have it, tap on it and you will see that you cannot open it yet. So head to the settings to general. Uh, okay, let me start again. Head to the settings, general, and look for device man management here you will tap on your email address and then click trust your email address that's basically gonna trust the app that was installed from an unknown source other than the app store so make sure the app opens and then open up your safari browser and type in this address you can also find in the video description here you will open in alt store and tap open and another screen will show up and you have to do the same thing you've done before enter your Apple ID and the password I will quickly fast forward this part so after you type those informations just click sign in got it also make sure you have the phone plugged in all the time while doing this otherwise won't work as it should and give it a few seconds here and uh, once it's installed, head back to the home screen and check for the newly installed app, which is Uncover app. Here, just click jailbreak. And this is just an advertising. Feel free to close it. Now it's going to tell you the jailbreak is completed, but it needs to reboot the system in order to con proceed. So just hit OK and give it a minute for the phone to reboot. And once it's uh, up and running again, head back to the Uncover app and do the same thing that you've done before. Uh, tap on jailbreak and wait. Now keep in mind you have to do this uh, process by opening the Uncover app every time you restart your phone. Otherwise the jailbreak will reset itself and it's not gonna work unless you go ahead and jailbreak it again. So on this screen click always allow. Of course, this is the advertising. You just have to close it. Don't have to buy it if you don't like it. Jailbreak completed. This is what we want to see. No errors occurred, which is pretty good. So now the reboot is gonna 
take place and once it's back up and running again it's gonna be a jailbroken device now since it's back up and running you will see those two apps just ignore the substitute app but here click always allow once again and then head and back and open Cydia app now give it a 10-15 seconds if it's uh, not doing anything just close the app and uh, open it again that should do the trick sometimes uh, when installing this app for the first time you may get stuck at this screen or may not in my case I got stuck so I had to close the app and reopen it again you can unplug the device if you like no need to keep it plugged to the computer so this is CD app this app hosts smaller apps which are called tweaks basically those tweaks modify the operating system and let you customize it the way you want now going back to our uh, Cydia here uh, you will see this pop-up which will ask you to upgrade click on upgrade essentials confirm on the top right return to Cydia and at the bottom you will see changes click upgrade those will upgrade those tweaks to the latest version before we install anything else confirm and give it a few seconds and should be up and running restart springboard this is basically like a soft like a refresh for your phone is is like a soft reset it's not all the way now head back to the Cydia and we will have to head to these sources tap on edit add and here we'll add this source this is a very important step we need to add this source in order to gain access to this app that allows us to mirror any app on the carplay so after you add that return to Cydia and click on the source in that list and make sure you're seeing these folders over there and if that's the case then head to the search and search for car bridge car bridge this is a, the app or the tweak that we need now this is not gonna be free it's just 9.99 and trust me you won't regret paying for this app and the devs that make this app possible they deserve all the money since I bought this app before the process of installing this app may be different than yours since you are a first time buyer the way I do it is just tap on modify top right corner and then hit install yours may be a little bit different but just follow the instruction it should be step by step how to purchase this app and install it then click install and restart springboard now immediately after this soft uh, restart you should see this uh, pop up carbridge saying the carbridge has been successfully installed and go ahead and open the settings and you should see this this is how this app looks like and uh, I will show you in a second how it works and what can you do with it now I'm having my receiver plugged into my phone or the phone plugged in, in the receiver as you can see there are no apps on the screen other than uh, original CarPlay apps head to the settings scroll down to uh, car bridge and then tap on bridged apps and here you see a bunch of apps pretty much all the apps you have on your phone and you can bridge them to the unit so that's how I did with Facebook Instagram mail and YouTube but those are only a few you can mirror any app you want now I'll do a quick demo of how this app basically works so I'm gonna open the Safari and I will try to search uh, something uh, by tapping on the search bar over there and uh, let's see no hell, oh this is embarrassing this is basically what I search in the past uh, 24 hours but whatever uh, let's head to YouTube and you can see here I can play uh, play any video you want and you're gonna get the same experience you get on the phone trust me it's pretty nice moving on to the mail app you can have the mails handy on the screen and 
This is basically the app you get on the phone, nothing special. It's basically giving you access to any app you want, to your favorite apps. As I said in the beginning, Netflix app won't work, unfortunately. You have, there is another uh, option, it's called the uh, portal app. This basically will mirror your phone to the unit and also you can use it by touching the receiver and whatever you touch on the receiver is gonna uh, affect the iPhone which is pretty cool also as I said not even with a mirroring feature you won't be able to get Netflix to work now this is basically the end of the video unless you have a Windows I will uh, start the video from here showing how to install on the Windows the whole thing with the jailbreaking now go ahead and open your browser and type this address links in uh, the video description and now once you land on this page scroll down till you see the installation guide and mark windows right there and first step is to get the itunes if you don't have it on your computer if you have it then you just can skip this step and uh, continue the process if not then uh, we gotta install this and follow all the basic uh, installing instructions nothing uh, special here nothing fancy as i said before jailbreaking your device it's a pretty important step in uh, customizing your uh, ios device and also i want to mention that everything we do here is safe and secure 100 percent all right so after you have installed the uh, itunes head to this website links in the description as well download the windows version of this app called alt store this bay app basically will uh, allow us to install other apps that are not available in the alt store in the app store my bad go ahead and uh, click on setup and after you finish the installing this app go type and search for alt server and it should show up make sure you allow access on private networks as well I'm not sure why it's asking me for the iCloud maybe I don't have the iCloud but I suggest you to get the iCloud as well before you do anything else uh, go ahead uh, download it install it so we can uh, continue safe and sound I'm gonna fast forward here a little bit this is just basically installing the iCloud after we install it you must restart your computer after you restart it plug in your uh, device and make sure you trust this computer this is a pretty important step don't miss it otherwise nothing gonna work go ahead and uh, search for alt server app and uh, check in the taskbar look for one of those uh, diamond shape icons install alt store and select your device here will you will have to type your apple id and password or itunes id or whatever you want to call it now an alt store app should install on your phone and to continue this tutorial skip back to minute 229